Here is Learn NX with a special topic. How to create a star. This now world famous star is not only beautiful, but also has a wonderful shape, the geometric rules of which I show in this video. I would like to thank my subscribers for a successful year on YouTube. Let's now take a first analytical look at this star. It consists of a square in the center. I select the parameter L1 for the edge length and the value 100. Now the square can be extruded. I select a symmetrical distance of L1 and get a block that lies exactly in the center. This is probably the star for beginners. We are far from finished. Now I want to chamfer all the edges. I choose the distance so that all edge lengths are identical, thus creating an octagon. The distance, L3, is calculated as follows, here is a look at the drawing, and a look at the expressions. Since NX always automatically chamfers the corners, not only the octagon was created, but also 8 isosceles triangles. A pyramid is now to be created from each of these areas. If the length L5 is given, the angle A1 of the pyramids with a square base is calculated as follows, another look at the drawing, and another look at the expressions. Oh, your formulas look so Christmassy. After all, the world is based on numbers. Now I extrude the first square pyramid in the Z direction. This is followed by the pyramids with a triangular base. Here, the distance L4 to the center must be calculated first. Now the angle A2 can also be calculated. And now I extrude the first triangular pyramid. This completes the difficult part and the pyramids can be copied. The triangular pyramid is mirrored across the XY plane. Then the square pyramid is copied 8 times across the X axis. Then 8 times over the Y axis. And finally 8 times over the Z axis. But now there are two pyramids on top of each other in some positions. This is not a problem, because in a moment all the bodies are connected to each other. But first the triangular pyramids have to be copied 4 times over the Z axis. And now all the bodies are connected. First the block and the first pyramid. And then the body just connected with all the other bodies.
The star can be customized as required using the parameters. Finally, a little gimmick. First I open the True Shading Editor under View, Visualization. Here I select Yellow Glossy Plastic under Global Materials. Then as background type, the graduated dark option. And finally a distance of 100. You can call up this menu with the key combination control plus R. Use this to select any rotation axis. Select 0.1 degrees as angle increment and activate the continuous rotate option. The star will now rotate until you click stop. With that, I wish all technicians, designers and engineers a Merry Christmas, a few quiet days and a super New Year's Eve party. Meet you next year. Hey, still looking for a quiz question for a boring Christmas party? How about this one? Hi guys, what consists of 8 triangular and 18 square pyramids? You'll never guess. All the best from me too.